Informal employment and employment in the informal sector play an important role for employment creation, income generation, and poverty reduction in many countries. Informal employment comprises one-half to three-quarters of non-agricultural employment in developing countries, playing an increasingly important role in countries in transition, and is on the rise as well in e-developed countries. Statistics on informal employment and employment in the informal sector enhance the visibility of many workers, a large proportion of which are women, often in insecure, low-paid, and unprotected employment. Developing statistics on informal employment and employment in the informal sector will improve labor and economic statistics and provide new tools for research and policy making on the links between employment, poverty, and gender inequality. In my country, one in two of all workers are in the informal economy. Is that so? I heard informal jobs account for 30% of all jobs. Wasn't it two out of five people employed in the informal sector? What are these people referring to? Are they all talking about the same thing? The term informal is often used in three different contexts within employment statistics. Employment in the informal sector, informal employment, and employment in the informal economy. Statistics users tend to confuse these concepts. But employment in the informal sector and informal employment refer to different aspects of the informalization of employment and to different targets for policy making. They are both used for analytical purposes and hence complement each other. But the two concepts need to be defined in a coherent manner to be clearly distinguished. Employment in the informal economy includes them both, although the term is not used in official statistics, but rather in labor policy contexts. In 1993, the 15th International Conference of Labor Statisticians adopted an international statistical definition of employment in the informal sector, which was based on the characteristics of the production units, or enterprises, in which the activity takes place, to be acceptable to national accountants as well as to labor statisticians. The standard definition of employment in the informal sector includes all persons who are employed in at least one informal sector enterprise. Informal sector enterprises are defined as enterprises owned by individuals or households, not constituted as separate legal entities independently of their owners, and for which no complete accounts are available that would permit a financial separation of the production activities of the enterprise from the other activities of its owners. Their size in terms of employment is small. Less than five employees was later on recommended for international reporting and not registered under national legislation. Such enterprises are engaged in non-agricultural activities, and examples of persons employed in informal sector enterprises include self-employed street vendors and home-based workers. The definition of informal sector did not capture all aspects of the increasing informalization of employment, which had led to a rise in various forms of informal, or non-standard, atypical, alternative, irregular, precarious, unprotected employment. The new concept of informal employment was introduced precisely to capture such aspects of the informalization of employment in many countries more relevant than that of informal sector. The concept was approved by the 17th International Conference of Labor Statisticians in 2003. It is a broader concept based on the type of job rather than the enterprise in which a person is employed. It includes unregistered employees who do not have explicit written contracts and are not subject to labor legislation, workers who do not benefit from paid annual or sick leave or pension schemes, as well as most casual, short-term, and seasonal workers. This diagram shows how informal employment and employment in the informal sector can relate to each other. The red oval corresponds to informal employment. The green oval corresponds to employment in the informal sector. There is an overlap between the two, but there can be informal jobs outside the informal sector, as well as formal jobs within the informal sector. Some users of statistics may also use the notion of employment in the informal economy, which corresponds to the total dotted area. This example displays how large informal employment can be as a share of total non-agricultural employment in the selected countries of 
Mali, Ecuador, South Africa, and Brazil. In these countries, at least half of all non-agricultural employment is informal employment, reaching 82 percent in Mali. Different proportions of informal employment are outside of the informal sector in different countries. In Mali, only 11 percent of total non-agricultural employment is informal employment outside the informal sector, while it is 42 percent in South Africa. It should be noted that employment in the informal sector may include formal jobs, the two bars referring to employment in the informal sector and informal employment outside the informal sector do not necessarily add up to the third bar, informal employment. To arrive at a standard definition for informal employment, a conceptual framework was developed by the ILO, International Labor Organization, in 2002. The framework shows the relationships between status and employment, informal employment, and employment in the informal sector. It disaggregates total employment according to three dimensions, type of production unit, status and employment, and formal or informal nature of employment. Jobs are classified according to status and employment, an important analytical variable which helps identify the type of job and nature of employment, thus facilitating the measurement of persons in informal employment. So let's see who has an informal job within such categories. Contributing family workers are, by definition, in informal employment regardless of whether they work in informal or formal sector enterprises since they usually do not have explicit written contracts and are not subject to labor legislation. For employers, own account workers, and members of producers' cooperatives, the informal nature of their jobs follows from the characteristics of the enterprise they own or are associated with, since they lead and decide their own work. Because of the independent nature of the employment, the characteristics of the job cannot be separated from those of the enterprise. They have informal jobs if they are engaged in informal sector enterprises. Own account workers who produce goods exclusively for use by their own household have an informal job, if considered employed at all. Employees is the only status in employment category for which the formal or informal nature of employment does not derive from the type of production unit in which they work or from the status in employment itself. Employees have an informal job if their employment relationship is not subject in law or in practice to national labor legislation, income taxation, social protection, or entitlement to certain employment benefits.